ingredients and we'll need 200 grams of butter it has to be a cold butter straight from the fridge one teaspoon of baking powder two egg yolks one third glass of powdered sugar and 380 grams of flour now we're just gonna mix all the ingredients so we're gonna start with the we'll flour start with 380 grams of flour we have uh, you can use a sifted uh, flour, better quality one, or I just sifted my flour. We're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. We are adding 200 grams of cold butter from the fridge. Next, we're gonna add two egg yolks. Now we're gonna add 110 grams of powdered sugar and we're gonna make a base, a crust. Now we're gonna mix all the ingredients together with the hands. Or you can use a mixer if you want to. I prefer in with the hands. Okay, this is a dough and for a crust, and we're gonna now divide it in half and put each half to the fridge or freezer for at least 30 minutes. Okay, we've got two parts, first one and the second one. The second one will go on very top. So this one we're gonna put to the freezer for 30 minutes, and this one gonna go on the bottom of a cake for a crust. Okay, this is a baking tin. I gonna put some butter on the bottom. We're gonna put some butter in here and then we're gonna put the baking paper and also gonna put some butter lightly cover with the now butter. Now we've got our baking tray uh, with the butter. We're gonna add first a crust on the very bottom. We're gonna spray, uh, spread it out. Okay, our pastry is ready now. Uh, what you can do, you can roll out the pastry if you want it and then put it in a uh, baking, um, baking form or I like to put it all in the dough and then spread it out in a tin. So it's up to you what you find easier. And what we will do now is just use the fork and do this. So pastry will be nicer. Once this is done, we're gonna put it in a fridge for at least 30 minutes and then we can bake it. Next step, a vanilla pudding. So we need two vanilla pud pudding, which you can find in a Polish shop, they're called budyń. Uh, they need, we need the vanilla one, and there's two options, one with the sugar, one without. One with the sugar is the cukrem. So this is the one you want. And what's very important part is, how you're making it exactly as a per instruction in here on the back and one of them needs a 500 half 500 milliliters of milk and so both of them will need one liter of milk so what we will need to do is we're gonna make it exactly as per instruction however we're gonna use less milk if you're gonna make it exactly as per instruction uh pudding will be very uh, runny on your cake so you don't want that this is why instead of one liter of milk for both of them we're going to use only 700 milliliters so we're going to make it exactly per instruction but only with 700 milliliters of milk once this is done we just need to cool it okay, down okay we've got some cold milk in here 200 milliliters we're gonna add uh, our pudding in here with the cold milk, mix it up, and the rest of the milk we're gonna um, get to the boil. The start of the dish of today's cake will be apples. So the best are barley apples because they are sour. So that's definitely recommended those big green apples. We're gonna cut them in uh, small pieces and we're gonna fry them in a pan with one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and one third of teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna also add one uh, spoon of sugar Our apples need to be cut uh, in small pieces but those pieces should be the same sizes otherwise we're not gonna cook the same in the meantime we're gonna take a crust from the fridge and we're gonna throw it in the oven for 15 minutes at 180. apples we're gonna fry for about 10 minutes uh, with uh, one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and one fourth of um nutmeg and we're gonna add one teaspoon of a pastry after 15 minutes baking is nice and gold golden brown so we're gonna cool okay, it down this is our pastry on the bottom now we're gonna add some apples which were fried up for 10 minutes so we're gonna add them on now 
Then we're going to add our pudding, which is cooled down now. And on the very top, we're going to add the other pastry, which was in the freezer. So we're going to put it on there. we're going to put some apples. We're going to spread them all out evenly. First, evenly, we're going to spread our apples on a pastry. Our apples are spread it nice and evenly and now we're gonna add our pudding okay our pudding is spread out evenly as and well and now we're gonna and now we're gonna have our last layer so we're gonna have to use that grater and grate it on the top Cassie. <laughs> okay with the top layer of pastry we're gonna bake it now for 40 minutes in 180 degree okay our cake is our apple pie with um, pudding is done and baked and now we're just gonna make sure obviously to cool it down completely as a pudding gonna uh, not gonna stay in place otherwise so we need to make sure the cake is fully cool down and we're gonna put some powdered sugar on the very top and cook. we're gonna add powdered sugar on the very top and put a quite thick amount because those apples are quite sour so it needs that nice sprinkle of sugar okay our apple pie with pudding is done and we've got uh, quite a lot of powdered sugar on the very top, but that's how it should be. And we're going to cut it now into pieces and enjoy it with a And we have our uh, apple pie with custard with a pudding. And it's delicious with a coffee. 